Now, so we start recording. Zero degrees. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been in zero degrees. No, no, thirty-two. That's thirty-two degrees. Oh yeah, they're they're in uh, 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 different uh, units. Yeah, Celsius. Yes, just yeah. to clarify. I I have been in you know, minus five in Ohio many times. Uh, uh-uh, I couldn't do it. But I could not do it. <laughs> are you you are in Dallas, correct? Again, yeah, I'm in Dallas. Yeah. So now I'm I'm trying to. Oh, well, I'm coming over there for a couple of days for a family. Yeah, wedding, but uh, I was looking at the temperatures, like so, eleven degrees or so. Forty-seven. Um, yeah, it's actually forty-seven, and then down Friday will get down to twenty-six. So, wow. um, and then nineteen at night. So we, who knows, we might get a little flurries, you know, for, on Christmas uh, Day. You know, today is thirty-four on Saturday, so maybe. So I'll be in Florida, so I'm leaving tomorrow to go rest of the year to be in Florida. So uh, working from uh, remotely, so. Oh, man, I won't be able to say hi to you then. <laughs> uh, in person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, if I was in Dallas, yeah, you'd definitely come swing by the office and stuff. So, um, but no, yeah, we got a good crowd showing up here. I'm going to wait one more minute and we'll get started. Um, don't worry, it won't last a whole hour. I know everybody's trying, trying to wrap up the stuff at the office or at, or at home. Um so I appreciate everybody coming online. Um, you got me out of a staff meeting, so I'm good. There you go. <laughs> I have a Mario Kart after this. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and get the uh, slideshow going. Get it up and running. So. Oh, let me get. So where did it go? Okay. All right, and let me share my screen. I think it'll be screen two. And let me know if you can see uh, the screen. Yep. Sure yep. can. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, let's see here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get going here. Thanks for everyone to joining to, uh, today, our Christmas uh, reward show. We're going to give out some gifts, some. Um, uh, to our most active users and reflect back on what uh, we've done this year. Um, I think most of y'all, all of y'all are all uh, members on MeWe platform. Um, so I, I deeply uh, appreciate everybody coming online and, you know, when you can and participating in discussions and um, um, even helping people posting tips and tricks. We've had a lot of people posting questions and members of our group have helped answer those questions and stuff. So that's, that's awesome that y'all gone in there. Um, and help other members and stuff. You know, sometimes it's not software related. Sometimes, sometimes it's you know work related, and sometimes it's uh, you know best practices and stuff like that. So I, def I definitely appreciate y'all doing that. So, um, all right. So let me go to the next slide here. So, all right. So if y'all if y'all don't know, remember I was established in 2015. I first established a user group on the Google Plus. I don't know how many of y'all remember Google Plus. Uh, that's where we first started the user group. I loved it because you can post stuff like a uh, blog post, but you also do video chat and you also do group video chat. This is the only thing that uh, the uh, MeWe platform is missing, a group video chat live streaming. So I've been trying to coordinate with them, see when they're going to roll that feature out. Um, but I do like the two different sections, the actual group chat and then our forum section where we post tips and tricks and people posting um, technical questions. So that's where our forum is re really for. Is if you want to share a tip, uh, important information, you post it on a forum. But if you want to just have a general discussion uh, and have general questions, you can post it on our group chat. So, um, and hopefully everybody's enjoyed the, the platform. I've tried to keep it as clean as possible. Um, and uh, we've had some fun. We've had some good laughs on there. So people posting some stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping to keep it going. You know, this is what we're uh, seven years into the user groups. Um, and what I've gone into the Autodesk group network uh, user group platform, I've seen most of those user groups have gone, have been deleted. They're no longer active. Um, you know, I don't know if y'all noticed there, you know, but everywhere I look, most of those user groups are all dead. Uh, so 
Uh, I know some of them died because Autodesk removed the <laughs> the, uh, the free meetup account. <laughs> so I could really help. That really kind of hurt some of the user groups and stuff. So that's why I have my own personal website. So it would not be run or controlled by Autodesk. Uh, so I kind of do my own thing. So, uh, but all right, let's go to the next slide. Any questions about the user group before we keep going? So anybody have any questions you know if you don't know we do have an official website it's called the dfw uh dfwbiug.com and that's where i post actual events i don't really post anything but events there so I'm, if i'm having a big all-day event or in-person event that's why i usually post the events on there and if you go to the that website uh, our music website you'll see some of the past events we had uh, on there i think i've hosted four different live events we did one live online and then AU, AU 2021, but next year I'm going to get back in the routine of having our online events, so uh, in-person events. So that's where I invite speakers, industry experts from all over the United States, UK, and, and um, uh, Canada to come to our events. Um, I've had Autodesk, I've had Ed, um, um, uh, Bentley, uh, Carlson, Transop Solutions, almost every survey company at our event, uh, either speaking or attending our event. So um, if you definitely go to our website. So I'm hoping next year um, we got two events I've got scheduled. I was going to do it this year, but I just got really, really slammed. But I'm, I'm scheduled to do it next year. That's going to be our CAD, uh, CAD manager, kind of like a BIM slash CAD summit. You know, it's for those CAD managers and BIM managers. Uh, so I'm going to be been sending invitations uh, to y'all uh, personally. And some, some people can actually register online. And then the, I think the other one I had was another training event for uh, – Bentley survey and Autodesk products and stuff. So basically across all platforms. Uh, so I'll be inviting all those uh, speakers and industry experts to Dallas and most likely be a two day event. So usually one day events just don't, you know, uh, draw in a lot of crowds, but when you do two events, people were willing to travel for two day events. So uh, we've actually had a really good two day event once. So I'm going to try to do it again. It's a lot of work for me. It's a job to try to put a two day event because I got to handle all the scheduling and the booking and, you know, all the food and stuff like that. So uh, it does cost a lot of money. You know, we're talking about tens of thousands of dollars for a two-day event. <laughs> so I think that last one cost me $10,000 or something, you know, for a two-day event uh, minimal uh, because of food and all that stuff costs a lot of money for those event centers and stuff. All right, uh, let's move on to the next one. So here's just a timeline. I think I've shown this last year, the timeline of what we've done as a user group. Um, you know, started 2015, uh, my first event was 2016. Um, and then we had our website and a blog website. There's Google Plus at 2012. But I also had Tony Civil 3D World. That's where I first officially started blogging and then uh, eventually evolved to the Google Plus and then it went to the website and then eventually the WE account. So, so it's been slowly uh, growing and evolving. So uh, we've had probably at our events online and also in person, we probably had 100 plus speakers uh, that attended our events. So there's a lot of, uh, at, uh, at our in-person events and we've had a lot of um, uh, online speakers. Uh, you know, Christina was just one recently to our Revit tips and tricks uh, speakers for our user group and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna update our website to show all the additional speakers and stuff, but there is a lot of speakers we've had uh, since then. Okay, so let's look at our last quarterly uh, growth. We've had a small little growth at 1.7% the last four months. You can see uh, what was it last year, you know, the dark blue versus the light blue, what it is this year. We're at 252 members. Last year, we were at 166. Um, and most of our members, we have probably 20 very, very active members are on there weekly. And then we have a lot of monthly members that come in once a month. And then we have other, probably the other majority that are coming in just sporadically every now and then they'll come in and participate in our user group and stuff. So, and let's look at our other chart. So here you can see our growth since two years ago. You know, when I first started the user group with the MeWe platform, we started with 56, now we're at 252 members. Uh, we've been slowly growing um, the membership. So I, I highly encourage people to, to in, uh, invite your coworkers um, you know, to our, our user group, we're, like we said, we're online every day. Uh, we got people like Michelle and Christina and Sid, um, and, uh, Mark and, um, um, Kristen's been on there active now. 
Um, who else? We've had, um, forget, sorry if I forgot some names in here. So, um, but yeah, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, Travis all, also on there. So on our user group platform. So I uh, pr definitely appreciate them being on there active and participating. So like I said, y'all have a lot of freedom on our user group. So you are allowed to post polls and questions and stuff like that. So I, I really gave a lot of people a freedom to go in there as long as you're not posting advertisements and stuff, or you're, you're doing recruiting. You know, if I say recruiting, usually I'll take somebody off the, the membership or give them a warning. <laughs> so, um, but uh, uh, so far I haven't, you know, I've been pretty, I guess, pretty good job of uh, filtering who comes into user groups. I, cause I, yeah, I don't see it, but I get a lot of just fake accounts coming in and uh, people trying to join that, you know, I know for a fact they're not in our industry or anything like that. So uh, I try to do my best to filter those out. So, so if you ever get a membership, somebody uh, comes in and it starts blowing you up private messages and you know, it's not related to our industry, let me know and I'll remove them from the platform and stuff. So, okay, let's go to our, our next slide. And so let's look at what we've done this year. So we've had about 10 webinars um, you know, we invited industry experts, expert elite members to do webinars throughout the year. We've had 12 uh, live streaming. So I've done some live streaming during the afternoon and also Cat After Dark. Uh, I've done uh, several Cat After Darks. I think we posted, uh, there's probably 50 plus videos I've recorded, other people recorded into our, our uh, platform that people can see. A lot of posting. I can't keep up with all the posting. Trivia, we've had five trivia um, this year. Um, is anybody online that was a trivia winner? I think Mark, Mark was the trivia winner, right? On one of our trivia winners. Who else was a trivia winner this year? I think I beat Sid out by one answer. Yeah. On a simple, <laughs> <laughs> by accident. <laughs> yeah. Um, anybody else? I can't remember anybody else was winners, uh, on trivia. So we've had multiple, we've had AutoCAD, we had Revit, we have InfoWorks, Civil 3D, um, trivia. I try to do Navisworks on 3D and Max, but I, I got uh, you know sidetracked with other my actual work related stuff, so I had to keep race scheduling, rescheduling. I eventually had to cancel it. But we do want to do a Navisworks and um, 3DX Max trivia, um, maybe even recap and stuff. So, but yeah, I, I, hopefully I've enjoyed the trivia. I think I've made it a little hard because every time whoever wins it only gets like three answers. <laughs> so, um, so, but it's fun. You know, it's fun to. To, to do it so and um and our winners who uh done the trivia has got some really cool prizes like sid's got the headset he's wearing the headset that he got the wireless headset the gaming headset uh michelle got the blue yeti uh for other like the quarterly rewards so we do give out rewards for those quarterly oh yeah the gaming the custom gaming mouse here that custom gaming that i created uh with my company colors on there uh, mark what did you get i think you won something didn't you mark yeah, I'm one with the uh, 16 button mouse. Oh yeah, that gaming mouse. Yeah, yes. yeah. So how's that going? <laughs> that works great. Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. So good, good, good. Um, and then last year we gave out five hundred dollars in gift prizes. So I let the, the you know there were three winners that were really really close. So I let them choose that we want to split it up or just have one winter uh, one winner. And uh, they chose to split it up. So all the, the, the winners last year split up the money, you know, that we had. So, um, and I, I've, I've sent out some gift prizes too. Who else got like gift cards throughout this year? Anybody else? Uh, I got a gift card to Amazon. Yeah. yeah. So I think I sent out several gift cards. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I did too. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, throughout the, throughout the year, I give out, you know, gift cards and stuff like that. So I've probably already spent, I mean, probably getting close to a thousand dollars and give some prizes and stuff but i like to reward our our members that are just active and keeping our platform active you know they're giving up their personal time to come in and and, and uh, you know answer questions or post really cool stuff so questions so far about our webinars our live streaming our videos any questions like i said you know, the videos have to be you know i, I don't think they'll let you upload a video longer than if it's 15 minutes or it could be a little less and it doesn't do 1080 or 4k it, it actually reduces down to like 720 i think <laughs> so so if you want to record a, a cool tips and tricks and it's like 4k or 1080 record it on like a youtube upload on like a youtube 
and then just send uh, post a link on our uh, forum section. That's you know, so some of our webinars are 1080 and they're hours long, so I'll post it on our uh, YouTube channel and then uh, uh, post a link on our forums. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So if you out in the future, if you want to participate on our webinars, just let me know. You know, I, I love guys coming in and sharing their knowledge. I think we've had a lot of our members come in and, and share their knowledge, participate in the Revit Q and A. I think we had a civil and InfoWorks Q and A uh, this year and a Revit Q and A. Um, I don't know if we had an AutoCAD Q and A, uh, but I know we had a Revit Q and A uh, throughout the year. So. Um, and then we've had a few people participate in our Cat After Dark. It's really more focused. People are coming out, getting out to work, coming online, um, setting down to just talk about uh, different products and stuff like that. And even our international members that are overseas where they're just now waking up. So, because we do have international members. Just to let you know, we do have international members that come online late at night. And you don't see it, but I actually have private discussions with <laughs> these international members and stuff. So there's quite a few of those. Um, so you, what you don't see in the back end is all the private discussions I'm having with members and stuff that don't really participate, but just have discussions with me. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of stuff you don't see. And I'm sure there's probably some private discussions going on between the members and that's good, you know, to, uh, to share information and have a discussions privately and stuff. So, um, any, any questions about the webinars in the live streaming, uh, the trivia, um, uh, that we have on our on our forum section. Anybody questions? Any problems uh, you may have? So I think few people may have had some mobile problems stuff. So I told them just uninstall it and reinstall the app. I think majority of our members are on the mobile app, um, and so that way they get notifications uh, on there when they were going to post a webinar or an event stuff like that. So and then we also have the uh, web browser members and stuff like that. So. Uh, I did post a link how to create a desktop version. So if there is a, not a desktop version like a like a Teams or, or Slack or a Discord, um, and one of our uh, forum section, I posted a video how to use this app. There's an app you can download, and it actually links it to MeWe and turns it into a desktop version. So if you wanted a desktop version, there's actually two of them. So you have to go kind of type in. Uh, I could show you a bit later, but show you how to create that in there. So if, you, if those that want a desktop version of MeWe, so because MeWe doesn't have one. So, all right, let's move forward. All right, so our past quarterly winners, I think Michelle and Sid were some of our past quarterly members. Uh, I don't even remember who it was last quarter. Was it both of y'all or is it somebody? I can't remember, honestly. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while I since thought, I got, that's an older photo. Yeah. Oh, Travis yeah. was a part one of the winners. Yeah. Who? Tra I thought Travis was one of the winners last time. Yeah, I think and he Sid. was. Um, I think we had another member. Yeah. I think Travis was on there. I don't know if he's online. So he was one of our, our members and stuff. So, um, and I yeah, guess I, the year we give up rewards. Go ahead. Yeah, I got the mouse from you last quarter, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sid. Yeah. So you were our, our past quarter winner. Yeah. And I think I did give out gift cards. I did give us a few gift cards on last record. Yeah. And you're right. Travis was one of them, um, was one of those, uh, uh, members. And okay. And how do I do the point system? So I do, um, you know, webinar speakers, you get 30 points. If you want to come in and do a webinar with me, um, if you do a video blog post, so if you record a quick little, you know, two minute video, upload a form, I'll give you 20 points. Uh, blog post is 10. If you invite new members to our thing, I'll give five points and daily weekly activities and stuff. You know, I give out one point if you're on there every all the time. So, um, and it was tough for me to try to keep up with all that. <laughs> I had to go back, spend hours to try to keep up with all everybody's points and systems, stuff like that. So, um, but uh, we did have the last three months, we had a lot of tips and tricks people posted on there. So, Christina and Sid, uh, Danya. Uh, Michelle, I think Mark, we, we've had quite a few the last, I would say the last six months, we had probably the most tips and tricks on there, um, posted on there. So I, I think, I think that's awesome and stuff. So, and I do report some of the stuff to Autodesk, just so you know, I do talk to Autodesk about it, you know, and say our platform, um, you know, um, we do have a few Autodesk members on there, um, but they don't really don't participate. I think just see what's going on with the user group and stuff. So, um, but uh, I do tell them, you know, what's going on in our user group since I am an Autodesk group network leader. And I don't know if that, that 
whole committee or group is going to happen with that group and stuff. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, do we have any uh, other user group members on here? I think Michelle, you're a user group member, right? Uh, user group leader, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And George, but I haven't you, heard anything new. Yeah. it's. I, I think it's going to die. But George, you know, you're also right. Don't you have a user group um, you run? Yeah, we're in a little hiatus or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> I think a lot of them are. I think I'm probably the only one that's keeping it constantly going and stuff. So uh, I haven't seen any other activities from any other user group and stuff. So uh, it is a job. I will tell you people, it, it is a job. The, the constantly post stuff, keep it going. Because if you do it, you know, once a month, if you go and just have one webinar and nothing activities, people are going to forget you missed that month and you have to wait for the next month, you know. Um, so uh, that's why I try to be active every week and every day uh, that, so people can just jump on and have discussions with the group and stuff. So um, questions so far. Anybody have any questions? All right, let's go to our next slide. All right. So here's our finalists. I, I look back at who was the most active uh um, members this year. Um, so um, you got Michelle, we got Victor and Sid, Danya, Christina, Rosha, and Chris. We have other people that are posted, but they didn't have as much as these people here, these, this group of people here. So I want to thank these, uh, this group here for all the hard work they put in putting just posts and tips and tricks and staying active in the polls. Uh, you know, without them, you know, the, the, the user group would kind of be kind of kind of quiet. <laughs> so people will be just, you know, watching, not really interactive. And then we have some members that will just say, well, you know, I like to see more activity. Like, well, if everyone had your mindset and just want to watch until everybody's active, then nothing would ever happen. You have to participate, you know, to make the, act the group more active. Um, so uh, uh, if, if everybody has that mindset, oh, I wish it was more active, then nothing will ever happen if you don't take a step forward and post something, you know. Um, so I'm always trying to do my best to post something every week on there, uh, a tips and trick. And like I said, all our members, are not all experts, some of them are intermediate, some of them are beginners. So don't be scared to post something that's, you know, for beginners, you know, because we do have a lot of beginners on there. I've got a lot of people I've talked to privately, they're AutoCAD beginners. Um, and, uh, and they're kind of shy about, you know, asking questions or like that. So go free by you know, post the tips and tricks about something that's a beginner for AutoCAD or civil 3d or Revit. Uh, even um, uh, Navisworks Recap, 3DX Max. Uh, I've been trying to focus mostly on AEC products, not really getting into like Fusion or or Inventor, um, other you know Maya or something like that. So, uh, but you know, definitely feel free to to post on there. So, all right. So, who was the most active user? It took me a while to to come up with all these numbers and go back and scroll through all the posts and tips and, and, and polls and stuff like that. Um, and looking back, I finalized it this morning uh, with the most blog posts, most activities, most polls um, on there. And the winner um, is Sid. Sid no way. It was close. It was actually kind of close. Um, uh, and... Uh, Say, I want to congratulate you. Um, if it wasn't for the last few last week, it'd been really tight. Um, so uh, um, I just want to say, oh, um, yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, a really close race. Um, I really think that if Christina had two more months, she probably would have got. Uh -huh. probably would have asked you, uh, I've been fighting Sid the whole time. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> and, and that's who I thought was going to win this year. Uh, it was, yeah. If she had Friday her or Michelle, I thought those two, two were battling it out. Yeah. So we had 183 points with Sid. Uh, Christina had 138. Donya had 130. Michelle had 76, Travis had 100. Um, so like I said, it, it seems like there's big gaps, but when you write a blog post, that's 10 points, you know, <laughs> or you do a video blog, that's 10, 20 points and stuff. So, um, but yeah, Sid ended up winning. Um, I think you, 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 you got it there at the very end last week when you posted like four or five posts. <laughs> so very, yeah. very uh, good. So uh, 
And what did Sid win today? Um, so today, and he's going to get this mailed out to him. I'm going to be mailing out to you, Sid, the Galaxy Book Pro 360 laptop, two-in-one laptop. Uh, let me stop sharing here. Wow. Lucky. Um, That's nice. a bit much there, Tony. Yeah, so we're going to move over here, this screen. And so you'll be getting this laptop right here, this two-in-one laptop. Uh, like I said, I, I've said whoever was going to be the uh, most active was going to get a laptop. All right. So uh, wow. you're going to get that laptop. Um, and then the runner up will also get a secret surprise in the end of the year. <laughs> so, um, um, Christina, you're going to be getting something also, um, giving a runner up something too. So you're going to get a, a uh, I'm actually going to be sending you a gift card. Uh, um, so I'm going to be sending you a gift card, um, uh, a digital uh, gift card. So uh, I won't tell you how much, but uh, I think you'll you'll like it. So, um, but no, so like I said, I wanted to reward the people that are giving, you know, taking up their, uh, you know, give up a little personal time throughout the day or even the evening um, and uh, coming into our platform. So I don't think any other user group gives out, you know, awards like that. I don't think even Autodesk does stuff like this, you know. They give out little little things and little jackets and stuff, but it's got their logos on it, you know. <laughs> so uh, they got to put their branding out. That is a pretty generous gift, man. But, That's yeah, generous. I'm going to be giving you out. Uh, I'll be mailing out that laptop to you, uh, you know, that new laptop to you, Sid. Uh, I think I got your address. So uh, be looking for it. Um, you know, I don't know if it's going to get there before christmas it'll probably be after christmas you'll get it <laughs> so uh, so getting you a laptop christina you'll be getting some pretty soon also you'll be looking for Aww. an email and stuff so a gift card um, that's kind tony you know, thank so, you so uh, like i said i want to give out rewards that people are you know really participating getting you know spending you know giving up their own personal time helping the the group and stuff so uh donya and, and and michelle and travis uh, all have been doing great. Um, Mark's been posting on there too. We've had some other people that are posted, you know, they're just, you know, more sporadic, not as much, but Christian's posted on there. Um, let's see who else here. Corey, uh, Hershaw, Chris Lords. Um, George, you posted a few things on there earlier in the year. Um, let's see here. Um, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 people that were actually posting tips and tricks throughout the year, you know, oh, so wow. seven, 17 different people and stuff. It doesn't look like it, but, you know, spread out through a whole year. So some people didn't post after like July or something. So uh, it's more sporadic and stuff. So we've had 17 uh, uh, posts on there. So, um, but yeah, any questions about the user group? You know, my goal next year uh, is to nominate a, uh, a, uh, a user group manager that's going to help me run the user group and stuff i think you know this is starting to be a big job you know um so especially when i got my events coming on and stuff like that so uh, eventually i'm going to reach out to probably two people that i think would be a good fit for the user group as a user group you know, manager uh, on there and see if they're interested in, in helping run the user group with me um and so uh um, I'm kind of excited about it. We got, you know, I'm going to try to continue doing two webinars a month, uh, not one, but two webinars a month, focusing on just AC products and stuff like that. So, uh, and then I'm, I'm going to bring in other people that are not Autodesk, like we're going to talk about drones. I think once we did that, we talked about drones. We did bring in um, um, NearMap to do a presentation. I, if y'all didn't know the people that, you know, missed the webinars, but we've had NearMap do a presentation I did invite uh, test fit. I'm going to come back and get them to come back and do a test fit webinar for us again. Uh, I think we had some scheduling problems. I had to reschedule and then they got to cancel, but test fit. And then um, I'm going to invite Modumate, the company Modumate, to come into presentation. Well, I'm going to invite Esri to come in and do a presentation for the user group. Um, and then um, we have a webinar lined up with uh, Ramish from Autodesk, uh, talk about the new products in InfoWorks 2023.1. Um, if you missed the webinar last week, uh, Autodesk did one last week. So if you missed that, he's going to go back and touch on some of those new features in Imports. Um, and then I'll probably bring in some other Autodesk uh, uh, experts and Autodesk um, people like uh, Matt. Matt Wunsch uh, uh, did a webinar for us also 
on Revit. Um, I'm sorry, Revit um, recap. So you did a really good recap um, presentation. Oh, I mean, take a look at the chat here. Um, yeah, like I say, guys, you know, just keep posting away. Um, and uh, I, I deeply appreciate it. If you don't know, let me go pull up our uh, YouTube channel also. Um, let me pull that up real quick. If you go to uh, YouTube and just type in civilcadls.com, that's where I posted recorded uh, LS, sorry, um, all recorded webinars. So um, since I'm the president of Civil CAD Alert Institutions, Civil CAD, you know, um, is my company, is basically the main sponsor of the user groups. I'm using my money from my company to help sponsor this, these, these kind of things and stuff. So, um, but if you go to, uh, just go to go YouTube called Civil CAD LS, uh, this is where I record um, all the webinars, live streaming and stuff like that. So I just posted one recently, three days ago with uh, Christina. You know, she did a optimizing Revit family development uh, webinar. Uh, if you go in there, you can see, you know, we post in there. I also post about my company apps. Uh, Cat After Dark, we did some Cat After Dark, um, you know, what, four weeks ago with um, Zontod and uh, Rena and Christina. You know, we had a webinar with them. Um, the Expert Elite also, I don't know if y'all follow the, I do the Expert Elite World video podcast. That's a separate group um, where I just interview Expert Elites across the world. So I've actually interviewed people internationally. So that's where I post the Expert Elite World video po uh, podcast uh, on there. So feel free to follow uh, follow me on that uh, YouTube channel. Um, if you go to the playlist, you can see it's broken down to the user group, my apps, and then Expert Elite World. Um, I just didn't want to manage two YouTube channels, like a user group and my company. So I just meshed them together and stuff. So that, so, um, but uh Questions, you know, um, any questions about uh, the user group and stuff. So um, I think if I look at the calendar right now, if I go to the groups up top and go to calendars, um, there is one, I haven't posted on there, but there is one for January 11th with, um, with uh, Ramesh. Uh, if you go to, I gave everybody a link on your private chat. Um, on our private Google calendar, and it, it should be on there. Let me go look real quick. Um, so if you don't uh, see that, that private, let me know, uh, message me, and I'll send you the invitation to add that private, our private Google calendar uh, to your personal calendar and stuff. And that's where you can see the links and stuff. So that way you get notifications and stuff about our events. Um, let me go pull that up real quick. Uh, let me move this over. Just one second, let me. Internet's going so slow here. Calendar. Okay, and let me share my screen. Okay, so share. So we do have our private user group uh, calendar on here, and uh, I guess I haven't added on there, but on the eleventh. Uh, uh, there will be a user group event on there. So if you can't access it, let me know. Message me uh, on there. Um, also about our user group. This, is, has anybody been having any issues with the user group platform? Um, I just want to make sure that uh, no one is having issues on there. So um, like you said, you can invite other members yourself also. All you have to do is go to the members here. Click on, I'm on the browser members and say invite new member and you have an option to email and there's all the links here and you can do share i usually just go to copy link and i'll just copy that link and send that link to that new member on there so um so you do have facebook twitter uh, on there so and you send that link to people and stuff like that so and if you go to um back to post here and then go to events you can see what's been scheduled this month next month 
on there. I haven't posted the uh, January's on there, but you're gonna see it pretty soon. What you've seen in the past, past events, there's our past events that uh, we've posted. Some of them are Autodesk related where I've posted a link about Autodesk having an important webinar on there. So uh, I do post that on the calendar. So that way you don't have to go look for it. I'll try to uh, post uh, Autodesk webinars into our schedule also. But uh, yeah, um, let's go back to our post. And uh, questions, everybody's coming kind of quiet. <laughs> no questions at all. Um, and uh, I guess what, uh, looking back, what is, uh, if anybody can remember, what has been the, the best event so far? We've had some trivia. We've had some Cat After Dark. If anybody recalls which one was the best one they attended, you know, uh, on the webinar, um, feel free to, you know, speak up. So, um, and, uh, but yeah. yeah. The trivia was pretty good. I yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah. The ones that I was able to participate in. Yeah. Even though I didn't know, I think one of them might have had no clue what, would, Somebody, what the we program had, was about, but I got in there anyway. We had one of them where I think it was Mark. He won it. And I think he won with what, two right answers because I made it too hard. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like two or three. I remember that. That was fun. <laughs> so, uh, they're a lot of fun. Trivia ones are good. I'm, yeah. I'll, I got to admit, I'm, I'm way out of the, industry that you guys are so it's like well i'll take a swag at it and see what i can come up with for an answer and i'll figure something out creative here <laughs> see you never know mark you never know if you're going to win or not you know so uh um but yeah uh i actually had to go back and 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 give me a uh that gaming mouse and it's like well you know what i want to get that one <laughs> that i gave you mm -hmm. and yes, then shit, the one I, nice. I custom made you i'm going to go back and, and create another one just like it because i want i want my own version <laughs> So uh, I love it, man. I tell you what, I I swapped it out from my old G620, yeah. and all this one's a little bit smaller. Yeah, fits in my hand a little better. But uh, good. The next gift I'm thinking about giving is um, how many of y'all work from home sometimes, or you do video, so uh, lights when you do a webcam. So I have all, I have different types of lights in front of me. So I have like Elgato lights, I have uh, Logitech lights, and all kinds of different lights in front of me that I use, you know, depends on how I want them, but I'll start giving out some lights and stuff um, on there. And then uh, some more microphones. So uh, like Michelle's got the Blue Yeti. I don't know if you, Michelle, you've been using it, but. I still need to play with it. <laughs> Just haven't had time. <laughs> that night I only have two USBs on my laptop. Oh. With places to plug it in and they're both in use. So. And then my favorite is the Elgato, uh, this Elgato, uh, uh, picking it up this Elgato microphone this uh is my favorite one i can just mute it by just hitting tapping the button on top to mute it mm -hmm. and it's got all kinds of software filters and stuff built in i love this microphone um so uh stuff like that you know who knows maybe i'll give out little little you know uh gopros and stuff um so i have a gopro camera here in front of me that i sometimes i've used for as a webcam a gopro um so um but just little things I'm going to kind of continue giving out to, to the user group and stuff. So, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully everybody enjoyed the, has enjoyed the, this year, this year's user group. I want to continue growing. My goal was to hit 500, but we didn't hit 500. We got, you know, 250 something. So um, some people, when I post on LinkedIn, like, well, I'm not in DFW. Like, well, it's, it's an online user group. I understand it says DFW, but that's really because I established in DFW and I have local events in DFW, but it's not just for DFW members and stuff. So, um, uh, you know, so, uh, but yeah, I, I get that a lot. They're like, I'm not in DFW. <laughs> well, I get a lot of the new people here at work. I, you know, I tell them about the group and on invite them to join and well i don't know civil 3d that well or anything i'm just starting my career or whatever it's like yeah oh, here's your chance to learn you know just be a part of it you Hello. Know, ask questions and we yeah. can answer them for you uh exactly you know so uh you know um we've had a lot of people post questions and stuff um let me you know you guys taught me a few things over here already that i didn't know about and that's when i started well you know let me share these odds and ends too, because they can be helpful in the long run. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, oh, somebody just posted on LinkedIn. What is the DFW? <laughs> so, uh, and we've had a lot of members that just join and then totally forget, you know, they get busy and stuff like that. And that's why I was telling the dude that the, do the app because an app will at least give notifications. Hey, there's a webinar. If you go in the browser, you're not going to get notifications, you know, at all, um, since it is a, a private platform. Um, it, it's so private that I don't think if you Google it, nothing will come up about my events. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, it's that kind of, uh, platform, but, uh, um, but yeah, I'll continue doing two webinars a month. And then I, I definitely always want to get help. You know, people want to come in and do webinars with me. Um, so, uh, I will be sending invites for people that want to be, you know, um, a manager with, with me, help run, the, manage the user group. So if I'm not available or I'm, I'm sick one day, they can, you know, run that webinar that day. Um, so um, and then, um, uh, we'll go from there. So, and then maybe I'll fly you in for events and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, this is what, seven, seven years now I've been running the user group. Um, so it's been, it's been tough. It is a job. I mean, it is a job, you know, the other user group that I just do once, once a month, but, uh, I want to be more active with our user group, create something very special. You know, so, um, so, uh, and uh, it's kind of disappointing when I go to the, the the website and you see all. If you go click on all the user group links, they're all down. None of them are active. They're all been closed down uh, on the platform. Um, was it Autodesk Net, uh, Group Network um, platform? I think they're going to rebrand it again. So just to let everybody know. It's going to be. We're talking about having people hosted on there. Yeah. It's somewhere on Autodesk, but. That was the last I heard. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, I like to keep my stuff here running. So, um, you know, on my own. So, um, but uh, yeah. All right. I don't want to keep you on any longer. I appreciate you coming online. Um, thanks, Sid and Michelle and everybody coming online and for, our, you know, all, all y'all, you know, making the group what it is today. And uh, kind of excited. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and New Year and holidays. I'm going to be out flying to Florida next um, tomorrow for the rest of the year. Just working for my girlfriend's place. Um, so uh, I'll probably be shut down for, I'll be shut down on the 22nd. So um, and, uh, for the rest of the year. <laughs> so yeah, be I'll be working through market, Thursday so and place. then we had then take time off for next week so yeah and they're with you yeah yep yeah. um and it's i'm gonna be watching a lot of cult bowl games and just kind of focusing and work you know what i would do with my company since i run two companies um so i have two companies plus the user group that i'm running <laughs> so yeah um but uh now with the girlfriend you know <laughs> it's a, yeah it's a, a lot going on so but uh yeah um some of the stuff we're it, who's going anywhere anybody traveling nope. Nope. Traveling by vacation a stay, stay local yep yeah. i'm actually working tuesday through thursday next week yeah but um, he's getting organized for the new year that kind yeah. of thing uh i'll be online people if y'all want to just chat um during the, the week of christmas and stuff just feel free to post them there i'm going to be online i'll be posting christmas trees photos if you want to post I'll probably ask everybody to post their Christmas tree photos and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> or you got more than three. one tree. You know, so, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited about it. So um, anybody have a special request about the user group? You know, do you have any special requests? No. I think last year was about the calendar issues and stuff. So that's why I created that private user group, uh, private calendar. Hopefully everybody's taking advantage of the private Google calendar I created. Since um, you can't link the calendar event in MeWe to a email account or anything like that, so, um, but I think I've handled most of the issues that people have, have had. So, um, and uh, yeah, and then sometimes I've had to reschedule. And, you, know, you know, work comes first, you know. So if I schedule something and then you know something comes up, I have to reschedule because that comes first. So. Um, and sometimes my speakers have had to reschedule. So I'm sorry about some of the rescheduling over and over. <laughs> so like just recently last week, I had to probably put, I don't know how many hours I put in last week. It was ridiculous. You know, I probably put in about 80 now thinking back on last week alone, I'll probably put 80 hours in. There was a lot of all nighters and 
staying to one in, one in the morning. So trying to get projects done for clients and stuff since I do full engineering design support for companies. So I take over the project and do, and do the design. So, um, but okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all everybody go. I hope everyone has a great Christmas and uh, I'll be back on the MeWe here. You know, if anybody have, wanna have continued conversation, I'll be back on the platform. So thanks, Sid. Thanks for Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Tony. It was a great year. All right. Have a great one. Oh, Bye. See you guys Bye. later. Bye. Bye. Okay, take care. Yeah. Good seeing you. Good seeing you all.